Another one of my little quick how-to videos. This is a Dell Studio Hybrid and in this video I assume you know what one of these is. This is a screwdriver and I also assume you know what one of these is, a soldering iron. If you don't you shouldn't be watching this video. Okay so to get at the, um, the insides that uh, is, um, comes unclipped from the side and there is a screw there which um, I've already removed which is that one and then you can simply slide the red case off which then leaves you with a grey case and to get into this one you have to remove the small screw from there and then that back panel simply unclips, slides right off and unclips. Now to, uh, we're changing the battery in this one because the battery's gone flat and uh, to get to this one we need to remove the little screw from inside there when we've done that, this whole hard drive unit simply lifts right off the top. Okay, like that. Now the battery on this one is not a standard, uh, well it's a standard 2032 battery, but it is not fitted in the normal way. It is actually clipped in underneath here, and I've already loosened this one off. And as you can see, it's on a cable, which hence why we need the soldering iron. Uh, that does have some plastic heat shrink around it, but all you can do is just cut that off with one of these, which I hope you know how to use. They're sharp, don't cut your fingers. And uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the terminals from this one and get a brand new 2032 and solder it on. So just for a moment. So what we've done now is um, taking the old battery off and we had to cut the, um, we actually had to cut the links off that uh, had touched the battery. And then you simply um, tin the end of the wires and solder the new connections, just solder it straight to the battery. That should be job done. And next we're going to put the old piece of tape around it and then probably wrap a bit of insulating tape around it just to finish it off and then that can be tucked back inside the case done. again. It's all uh, soldered back in and I've stuck that back in again with some double sided tape. All neat and tidy now. All we've got to do now is uh, put the rest of this back together again. So. Uh, that is just going to clip it on there and we need to put the screw back, put the lid back and uh, that's it. Job done. No need to go down and lie, lie down in a dark room after this one because this was fairly easy peasy.